Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Lexi Gasparini. I'm the Director of Advancement for Pacific Preparatory School. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so that you can see our presentation. Um, we are so excited to tell you about Pacific Preparatory School. In a moment, I will introduce you to some of our school leadership team, um, and they will help us get a better sense for um, what is Pacific Preparatory School, what are our vision and values, um, who are our students, um, uh, who are the teachers that work with us, what kind of curriculum and programming um, do we use, what is our admissions process like, um, and will um, just better under help us to understand um, why one-on-one -on -one private schooling at home is so impactful for so many kinds of students. Um, so I will also be sending a recording of this open house um, after, so you don't need to take notes. And if you have a student who you think more immediately would be a great fit for Pacific Preparatory School, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Our contact information will be at the end of the presentation as well. So now I will go ahead and introduce you to our school panel. Um, firstly, we have Jesse Roslin, who is our head of school. We have Mel Nichols, who is our Dean of Academics, and Anna Shell, who is our Dean of Students. Uh, so now Jesse's gonna go ahead and get us started. Thank you, Lexi. Um, I'm Jesse Roslin, and I'm head of school at Pacific Preparatory. I'm really excited to be here to share our school with you. I started Pack Prep back in 2002 because I saw a real need for individualized education. Um, I wanted a school that could work with all types of learners. Learners that might have executive functioning challenges, dyslexia, um, students with autism, um, whatever it may be, students that could thrive in a one-on-one -on -one learning environment. Um, what we have is really special. And um, I don't know of anyone else that provides the kind of education that we do. Um, there are other folks that do one-on-one -on -one education, but no one does in-home one-on-one education where we have one teacher, one student, and customized curriculum. It's really powerful because we're able to meet the students where they are. Um, we come in at first and do initial assessments in mathematics and English language arts, and that helps us inform our curriculum. So then we're able to build the curriculum uh, around each student's needs. And um, it's just, it's amazing because the students are able to, to thrive where they might not have had success in a more traditional brick and mortar uh, classroom. So it's also a great choice, not just for kids with learning differences, but it's, it's a great choice for all kinds of kids. Um, any kind of kid that really needs a one-on-one -on -one model. So if you're um, like an Olympic athlete or an artist um, and you want to have a more modified schedule because you have to spend hours training or hours doing your art, one-on-one -on -one education with Pacific Preparatory speeds up the learning process and really allows these kids to um, have both an amazing education and succeed in their academics, as well as succeed in whatever craft they are, whether they're a skier or a long distance runner or a graphic novelist. I mean, whatever your child may, um, whatever their passion may be, we can support it. Each student is unique, of course, and um, for those that do choose higher education, we have had great success of our students getting into their top choice colleges and universities. And I'm really proud of that because sometimes you look at programs like ours and they might lack the academic caliber. And I am just so pleased that we are able to demonstrate to the top tier colleges and universities um, the rigor of the academic program that we have. Um, so that's something really special too. Um, let's now turn to our vision and values. When I think about our vision and values, these are sort of terms that are, are out there. Um, for us, their love of learning and confidence, um, self-advocacy. But what's most important is that every person at Pacific Preparatory, from the leadership team to the teachers, really cares about kids. We care about the education that we are delivering so that each child can succeed. And we're supporting them in developing that love of learning, developing that passion, and, and bringing up their confidence so that they can advocate for themselves. I did want to tell a quick story about a student, Robert. Robert was actually my first student that I taught through PAC Prep, and he was an eighth grader in San Francisco. Um, he was uh, not thriving in his uh, school, and so he made a change mid-year, 
And in January, he started working with PAC Prep one-on-one. -on -one. And he came, uh, we did those initial assessments and his mathematics um, were quite weak. He had low self-confidence in math. And what was so cool is to be able to work with him over five months and did he did phenomenally. He, we went through all the math that he needed remediation for in seventh grade and then got him right up to grade level just so he was right along beside his peers when he went to high school. Um, just, you know, phenomenal success. And, and more importantly than knowing the content was that he really felt like a better math student. And, and that's what he and his parents were so pleased about. Um, I think it's also just so important to hear from parents because you know, the parent experience is something that they can share with you rather than hearing directly from us. So let's now turn to one of our parents uh, and we have a short video to show you and we can hear from Miriam talk about uh, her son's experience. My name is Miriam and our son Ari was a Pacific Preparatory student as we bridged from his previous school environment to his next school environment over the course of a little less than a year. One of the impacts that we saw over the course of his time with Pacific Prep was a greater sense of agency in his learning. So as an example, his humanities teacher was working with him on writing about music because our son really likes music and he likes playing music and making music. He asked our son to write a review of a song and then that went well, and so then he asked him to write a review of an album. And so in the process of doing that, they decided, hey, wouldn't it be cool to do a blog? And so he helped our son set up a blog. And now our son, even once that course is over, he's still doing the blog. And so he really feels ownership of that and agency over it. And that he's like, you know, his education isn't something that is happening to him. It's something that he is part of creating. Okay, um, now I'm going to turn it over to Mel, our Dean of Academics, and she can tell you more about how Pacific Preparatory makes a positive impact on students' lives. Thank you, Jesse. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump into our different program types. Um, so we have four program types. Um, we have full-time students who are, where they're school of record, they're working with us full-time. Um, we have part-time students, and I like to think of that as students who are um, enrolled in, you know, sometimes like one course or two courses, maybe they need a biology course, um, and so we can support in completing that one course with them. Um, we have transitional as another type, and that is would be a student who is just needing a temporary academic solution. And then lastly, uh, we work with students online as well. So if you are a family who travels a lot or, you're, you know, your student needs to travel, um, for whatever reason, we're, allowed, we're able to provide really high quality teachers online to work with your students. Um, we do follow, we know families like to have structure, so we do follow a traditional academic calendar. Um, but that said, students can enroll in our program at any time, um, and we do offer a lot of flexibility as well. Um, so the next thing I'll talk about is our curriculum and our teachers, um, probably two of my favorite topics uh, when talking about Pacific Preparatory. Um, so just to start with our curriculum, we uh, start when we're working with students by administering a diagnostic assessment um, in both English language arts and in math. Um, and I'll show you an example here. This is a, uh, if you can look on the screen, there's a sample diagnostic report. Um, so this is a student in math. And what we're doing is really just getting some baseline data to understand where the student is and what we need to offer the student in terms of curriculum um, and academics. We also love to know what the student's interesting, interested in um, and just really tailor the curriculum to that individual student. Um, we utilize curriculum from various resources, all peer reviewed. For example, we like to use Engage New York um, for math and English and Teachers Curriculum Institute for Science and Social Studies. Everything we do is aligned to the Common Core Standards. Students are going above our, above the Common Core Standards, um, really, and we're working with teachers really extensively to collaborate and, and create that curriculum for each student. Um, I'll go ahead and show you a couple of class session samples. So here's just a sample from a one session. Um, and I think one of the great things about this is, you know, the teachers really like to say, um, I hear often from teachers that they just get through so much 
um, in that one period of time because they're able to work with the student one-on-one. -on -one. They're just able to push them forward really quickly um, and in also a really quality way. Now just a little bit about our teachers. Um, we have some really amazing teachers on our staff um, and it's so exciting to work with them. They're really the best of the best and they care so much about their students. Um, just to give you a little uh, taste of what our teachers are like. Um, I'll show you this video from one of our teachers, Matt Perry. Uh, he is definitely a favorite um, and he is, is just a really high quality teacher, really brings a lot to his teaching. Um, so we'll go ahead and show you this video of him now so you can see for yourself uh, what our teachers are like. My name is Matt and I've taught math, English, and social studies at Pacific Preparatory for 11 years. The customized education that Pacific Preparatory offers allows teachers to get to know the whole student. What are the student's weaknesses? What are the student's strengths? And what are the student's passions? I'm excited whenever a student reaches a new height. You know, anytime there's uh, an aha moment or a marker that makes you realize something good is happening here. The autonomy I receive as a teacher at Pacific Preparatory allows me to do what's best for the student. But the collaboration of the management team means that every program is going to be successful because they're finding the best teachers all around for that student. The goal of education is to help every student be the best person they can be. And nothing does that better than customized education. And no one does customized education better than Pacific Preparatory. Great, so I hope that gave you a little bit of insight into what our teachers are like, and now I'm going to pass it to Anna. Thank you so much, Mel. Um, as Lexi said, my name is Anna Schell. I am the Dean of Students at PAC Prep, and um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the admissions process. Um, so we have rolling admissions, so students can um, apply at any time. Um, it, the admissions process looks a lot like any other independent school admissions process, um, but because the programming is quite individualized, the admissions process is also a little bit more individualized as well. Um, we do not require standardized test scores, um, but we do require uh, two um, pretty lengthy phone calls to start. So we have the first call with our director of programs and administration, and she's um, just kind of doing an initial screen to make sure that it's gonna be a good fit. And then the second call is more of a longer consult with Mel and myself. Um, and in that phone call, we're really looking to see, is this going to be a good fit? Um, and we're also talking with the family about the social component. Um, and we may also suggest some wraparound services, um, therapeutic support if necessary. We have a pretty extensive network. And so um, we always like to refer professional services where we can. Um, and we'll also start to get a feel for what the program will look like logistically. Um, and then uh, the third step is uh, for the family to fill out an application and pay a small fee. Um, and then after their acceptance, uh, we have about a two week window where we are um, getting down to business and really figuring out, okay, how are we gonna help this student thrive? Um, and we are matching them with teachers. We are conducting our diagnostic. We are individualizing our curriculum. Um, and it usually does take about a two week window for us uh, from kind of go time to when we actually start classes. Um, and then uh, we'll talk just for a minute here about tuition. Um, so the tuition is going to depend on the program that the student is enrolled in. As Mel said, we have full-time students and we also have part-time students. Um, we, our rates are 160 hourly and then we have a registration fee of 325 per course um, that covers books and materials. Um, and then uh, weekly at minimum we require two hours of instruction, um, three hours is standard and then uh, four hours would become kind of more of a mastery schedule. Um, projections for a full-time student are anywhere between 19,000 and 38,000 per semester. Um, and there's a lot more uh, information available on our website and we kind of break it down and give you some examples there as well if you want to learn more. Um, so yeah, and then next I think it's important to talk about student schedules. Um, a lot of people choose the in-home model because of its flexibility and because the one-on-one -on -one 
um, one-on-one -on -one learning is so efficient. Um, you can really get a lot done in a short amount of time. So, um, you know, as I said, the full-time student would be enrolled in four, at minimum four core, core courses. Um, so that'd be math, ELA, English language arts, social studies, and science. Um, and we generally recommend that students try and fit that within the sort of nine to four schedule. Um, oftentimes students will fit their courses into a morning time and then their afternoons will be free for them to do electives, some of which can be done with other students. Um, you know, they can take an art class and, you know, do their electives, their art elective. They could, um, do a club sport and they could do their PE that way. They could enroll in um, martial arts or something like that. Um, and then we can also include standardized test prep as needed. Um, and if you want to take a look here, um, we have an example schedule. Um, and this is a schedule for a fourth grader. And as you can see, this fourth grader um, is completing most of their work before 2 p.m. And then they have some time in the later afternoon for dance, in this case, and Spanish and um, some art, art stuff. And then this fourth grader also has been able to fit uh, all their courses into a Monday through Thursday schedule. And that has left Fridays free for field trips, which is a really nice way to do some hands-on learning uh, with the instructors. Um, so next we'll talk a little bit about accreditation. So we're in the process now of pursuing accreditation through Cognia. Um, we hope to complete that, uh, that process shortly. Um, however, accreditation is really mainly a way to ensure we're maintaining and meeting academic standards. And we've been doing this since 2002. Um, we have the highest academic standards. And um, for students who will be applying to independent schools and colleges, sometimes standardized test scores are weighed a little bit more heavily. And of course, we talk with families about this. We help provide support when needed. Um, and I mean, generally, schools want to see evidence that the student output is reflects high academic standards and, and they want to make sure that they are on par with or ahead of their peers. Um, and this is why we help families curate a very robust and impressive and qualitative portfolio of student work and narrative assessments from teachers. That's um, quite impressive. I think schools, we've had no problems in the past with students getting into the schools of their choice. Um, Stanford, UC Berkeley, Crystal Springs Upland School, many schools, uh, competitive schools, um, we've, we've had no issue with that in the past. Um, so I just want to give one last uh, great example of how seamlessly Pacific prep coursework can be transferred to schools. Um, uh, it's, this is a transitional student uh, we worked with named Claire. Um, Claire is a fourth grade gifted student uh, from New York originally, moved to LA and needed uh, four months left to finish out the school year before she enrolled in a local private school. Uh, we enrolled her at PAC Prep in all four courses, core courses, social studies, science, math, and English language arts. She had a schedule of four hours a day, five, five days a week, was able to successfully complete the school year with PAC Prep and then transition into her new school in the fall quite successfully. Um, and not only this, but she like really re-engaged in learning. And I think that's a great note to end on because that's really what we're all here for. And that's really why PAC Prep is so great is that we, we really engage students in learning. And, um, and that's why a family will choose to work with us because they want their child to have the best education possible. Excellent. Thank you so much, Anna. I really appreciate it. And um, thank you to Jesse and Mel as well. Um, and just for us all to review, um, Pacific Preparatory is a one-on-one -on -one at home private school focusing on the highest academic standards, um, as well as individualizing education, um, both the plan and the curriculum around the needs and interests of the student. Um, and we heard stories about Claire and um, Jesse, um, you know, talked about Robert and how he was able to thrive with us. Um, and these stories represent um, Pacific Preparatory students um, who have um, either been full-time or transitional or part-time students, but have really had the opportunity to um, uh, engage in um, programming and curriculum that is best suited to their needs and um, also fits with um, the other circumstances in their lives. And um, in terms of the tuition, it 
we range from 19 to 38,000 um, a semester, depending on the hours per course per week. Um, our teachers are highly vetted experts in their fields um, who hold bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, PhDs, um, teaching credentials, special education credentials, things like that. Um, and the amazing thing is our, our teachers are, are all handpicked and matched with students um, based on their academic uh, expertise, their experience, and their interests. So that match is um, uh, extremely important and a profound part of our programming. Um, and then uh, student schedules vary based on course load, uh, the needs of the family and the student, and the mastery level. And then um, Pacific Preparatory has been su successfully working with um, and supporting students um, for at-home private schooling since 2002. And um, that has been in the Bay Area, in Los Angeles, and online. So kind of in the last couple minutes here, I, we just want to say thank you so much for, um, for being here, for joining us. Um, I know that many of you know us from our sister organization, Tutor Corps, um, which Jesse Roseland also started. Um, so it means a lot to us that you guys be here. And, um, and in terms of um, you know, getting in touch with us, um, as promised, here's some contact information. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and actually stop sharing my screen. Um, so that we can um, we can engage a little bit more fully um, with some questions, and um, you know at this time um, we are happy to address any questions that you might have. Um, please feel free to use the Q and A at the bottom of your screen um, to ask any questions that you might have about Pacific Preparatory, about our curriculum, about the ways that we work with students, about what the process will be if you were to reach out to us about a particular student, um, and actually. And of course, you're always welcome to connect with us further by phone or, or by email if you have any additional inquiries. But we actually have a, a question here um, saying, uh, tell me about how you design the courses. How do you track progress? Um, how do you know that students are on par or ahead with their peers academically? That's a great question. Um, Mel, do you want to um, take that one? That's a great question. So we really start with our, you know, it really starts with our baseline assessments in both English language arts and in math. We're really looking at, you know, what are the students' strengths um, in those subject areas? What are their areas for growth? Um, and then what do we need to get do to get them to the next level? Um, we're using high quality peer reviewed curriculum from both the Teachers Institute um, and also Engage New York. Um, we align everything with the Common Core Standards and we're just extensively collaborating with our teachers to make sure um, that we're combining that only what the student needs um, in terms of academics, but we're also looking at their interests and what they're good at and incorporating that all into their uh, curriculum in order to make not only a thoughtful curriculum around, you know, the academic piece, but also what will engage them um, and push them to the next level and help them love learning. Uh, thank you so much, Mel. That was great. Um, and let's see, there is also one more question that came through. Um, uh, it says during, um, how do you help students work towards the goal of eventually matriculating back into a traditional classroom? Um, Anna, do you want to um, take that one? Sure. Um, this starts in the intake process because if we know from the start that the student is going to be re-entering into a brick and mortar school, then, um, then we can start planning around that. So you know, that process could include, if the school is open to it, you know, us actually talking to the school, communicating with them, collaborating with them, make sure, making sure that we are preparing them appropriately for where they're going to land so that transition is as smooth as possible. Um, you know, if, if families are not quite sure where that's going to be yet, then we look at, you know, places it could be, and then we try and align our curriculum accordingly so that Really, we're just wanting to make sure that the student is going to come into their new environment confident, academically on par or ahead of their peers, and um, feeling like um, they're going to thrive in their the environment where they're at. Anna, thank you so much. I really appreciate um, that that answer. And I'm going to go ahead and start sharing. Uh, my screen again just so you guys can see the final slide and have our contact information and thank you all so much for being here um, if you have questions that weren't answered or addressed today um, you are most welcome to follow up with us via email or phone um, we would love the chance to speak with you further and um, and hope that you um, got a better sense of what Pacific Preparatory School is in terms of the unique 
um, opportunity for students to work one-on-one -on -one, um, for private schooling at home. And we look forward to connecting with you guys soon. Thank you. Bye, everybody.